Hi, Builders. Welcome to the Social Proof Tool. My name is Jackie de Clark. I'm your success coach. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Social Proof with the webinar app. So right here on the dashboard, I've already created a web page for us. We've got the web registration page where a person is going to register for the webinar. And on registration, they are going to be sent to the thank you page. Now, to get started, you're going to have to go to the social proof and go and create your own social proof campaign. In this example, I've already created it. If you do not know how to create a social proof, I urge you to go watch the overview video and you will find it right below this video. So for now, we're just going to click on edit campaign and you can see I've already added the information, but let me go through the important parts. The very important part would be two things. The action label is the number one. What action or what words do you want to reflect at the bottom of the pop-up once the person see it? What action do you want them to take? That is the information that you're going to add right here. You can see I've got registered for the webinar because it's going to show the person's name and that person has registered for the webinar. Then you need to choose the application that is going to collect the information. That's very important because if you do not choose the application right here, you're going to have a problem when you're going back to the webinar and activate the social proof there because it's only going to appear in the webinar once this campaign has been connected to the application that is actually going to take it. So you can see we've got it right there as webinar form. Then the URL to navigate on pop-up. So it doesn't matter where the person is in your website. If they see that pop-up and they click, where do you want to send them to? So in this case, if I go back, I want to send them to this page. And you really just need to click on the little I, grab the link at the top. Once you've got the link, you're going to go back to the social proof and you're going to add the URL right there. Then for the sake of the exercise, I've got it as an interplay, interplay as 10 seconds, but let's make it a little bit shorter so that you can see how it works. And I'm just going to leave that as 10 and I'm going to click save. So my campaign has been updated, but I still need to go and apply it now to the webinar. So let's go to the webinar and I've already created the webinar for us. The important part inside of the webinar is going to be in the forms area, which is the one right at the bottom. Now this form I just called social proof so that we can explain it a little better. And I'm going to scroll down until I see main settings area. Right here it says the URL to navigate after the user subscribed. Now we want to send them to the thank you page. So you're going to have to go back to your website, choose the URL by clicking on the view and then you grab the URL at the top. You're going to go back to the webinar and you're going to add it right in that area. Then the second important part, like I said earlier in the social proof, this is where you're going to use the drop down and choose that campaign that you've already created. Now you say, Jackie, there is a plus. Yes, you can add a social proof right from in the dashboard right here, but you're still going to have to go back to the social proof app to go and adjust and change the settings. So it's always a good idea to do the social proof first. Once you've done all of this, this is ready to go but you still need to apply to the pages in your website. So you're going to go to your website and on the left hand side, you're going to scroll until you see social proof. So let me just scroll a little bit right here. And you're going to see that you can apply it to only one page. You can apply it to multiple pages. It doesn't matter. You can choose right here. The important part is to make sure in the drop down to go choose the one a campaign that you've just created. Once all of this is done, you're just going to click on save. So I'm just going to click on close. And now we want to make sure that the changes is actually happening online. So we're just going to click on republish. Once you've republished, it's time for testing. I would always urge you, once you have made major changes such as this, to go and clear your Cajun cookies because it's just going to help you to get the latest information or the latest pages to show up. So for our example, we are not going to click on the registration page because we want to be redirected to that page. So we're going to choose the lead magnets by clicking on the little I. And now we need to give it some time. The person is probably reading the context or the test and everything. And it's a little pop up that's going to appear right here according to the amount of seconds that you have chosen previously. So let's just give it a moment to go there. You can see. 
So we're now just going to click on it and it should redirect us now to the page that we want to go to register for the webinar. So here we are. Now we're going to register for the webinar because we want to be collected by the system to also be added to the social proof just like Chris has been added right here. So we're just going to add an email address. Just write it properly. And we're going to click on subscribe. So now the subscribe is successful. They've been sent to the thank you page. So what is the next step? The next step now is to go and check whether this has worked. So we're just going to close those applications. And I'm going to close the webinar. And I'm going to go to the social proof. And you can see there's zero subscribers. But I'm going to refresh my screen. And you're going to see that there is the additional subscribers that has just subscribed. If you want to take a look at them, you can just click on show records and you can see I've been added right there. And that is all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And I would urge you to go watch all the other tutorials with regards to social proof beneath this video. Bye.